Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to talk about Star Wars again. But we're going to throw a little twist in there. We're going to also uh, talk about the Star Wars Legos and Disney doing something very irritating once again. Basically, they are, there is a Lego Star Wars Day at Legoland, which they've had for years. And I know it's a big thing for Star Wars fans and a big thing for Lego fans, for that matter. And they're canceling it. That is a bunch of dog crap. I mean, what are they doing? I mean, are they, are they purposely trying to get people to hate them? I mean, this is, this is not helping Star Wars fans at all. I mean, it, it, it's kind of disgusting, actually. It, it's a big middle finger to fans, I think. And, and not just Star Wars fans, Lego fans, too. Because they have great, uh, great sets for Star Wars. You know, and, and so a, a Star Wars Lego day is a big thing. And they're canceling it. What What the heck? What is that? All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go over an article with you in regards to what's happening. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So here's the article. It's from The Brick Fan, your best resource for Lego reviews and news. So Lego Star Wars Day is canceled at Lego Land. One of the more popular events that is held uh, during the springtime at Legoland, California, and around the world is Lego Star Wars Days. Fans from all over the world come to see uh, new cool Lego Star Wars builds, including some from local LUGs, LUGs. In recent days, there were rumors that next year's event would be canceled, and it looks like that has been confirmed. Rebel Scum has gotten in touch with Lucasfilm and they have said that the past year would be the last to do the event. Also, someone at Disney stated, the motivation was to refocus Expediture and limit Star Wars exposure to reset the franchise and allow fans to heal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> with what they're doing, they're not resetting it. Um, they're just making people mad and they're not listening to Star Wars fans time and time again Star Wars fans have said we just want better stories and not and better characters we not the garbage that they're given to us and also they say I've heard another reason for Star Wars days being canceled is the shift focus on the Lego movie too so Who's trying to shift focus? Lego or Disney? I didn't think Disney was doing the Lego movie too. So, I don't know. Um, there is another, another article. Uh, this is from the Brick Show. And with this one, they're talking about how Lego Land, uh, Lego Star Wars Days was rumored to be canceled. And it just, it kind of goes into the, the same information here, just written a little bit differently. Uh, at least we got a picture, though, of some Star Wars stuff. But also here, this was interesting. It is also possible that Disney is now con consolidating all of its Star Wars related properties and theme parks in order to bring them under one roof. Only time can tell if this will be the path that Disney and Lucasfilm have chosen. But what is sure right now is that fans of Legoland Star Wars Days is better off not to look forward to another event like this. And there is attractions like a large-scale Lego Millennium Falcon made out of 250,000 bricks and several hard-to-find minifigure promos. I mean... Okay, so there you go. Um, that's what's happening with... Um, 
Lego Star Wars Day, unfortunately. I don't know what Disney is thinking. Um, I, well, I mean, we know what they're thinking. They're like, oh, let's give Star Wars a break. But they're not thinking. Yes, it, sort, it needs a break from bad bad writing, bad movies, bad ideas. Fans want good Star Wars. They want something written well. They want good characters. They want good stories. It, I don't think it's that hard. Get yourself some talented writers and some talented directors. Or, here's a thought, why don't you use the scripts that George Lucas gave you? Because he's the guy behind Star Wars. It's his, it's his universe. He knows it better than anybody else. How about you contact him instead of coming up with your own crap, which doesn't seem to be working. Or better yet, why don't you talk with the fans? Because the fan films are still a lot better than the garbage that you've put out. Only exceptions are Rogue One, which I liked, and generally most people liked from who I talked with, and I liked Solo. I know there are some that haven't quite liked that one. I think that one got an unfair rap because it was close to The Last Jedi. Everyone didn't like Last Jedi. And there was drama behind the scenes with Solo. But I think if it had been pushed out a little further, I think it would have been better received. So... I mean, you can't call putting Star Wars on a break when you're releasing three animated shows and a movie, a Mandalorian movie. That's not a break. Disney, I don't know who you think you're trying to fool, but you guys seem to be the fools. Get your act together. That's all the rambling I got for now. Um... I got other videos, so check them out. And until next time, I will see you on the next rambling video. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.